Thanks for checking out this video. So I was reading an online article from bloodydisgusting.com and I actually don't read it all that often, but um, it popped up. Someone had thrown it up on Facebook. Uh, obviously someone cool because this is the news. I was reading it and there's not a lot of information on it, but there's a possibility, a possibility that there's going to be, going to be a somewhat sequel of the movie Tucker and Dale vs. Evil. Now, right now, if you're watching this video somehow and you're saying, I don't even know what Tucker and Dale vs. Evil is, remedy that. That's a problem. If you're a horror fan, if you like horror comedies specifically, if you like Alan Tudyk, if you like Tyler Labine, if you like to laugh, and if you like gore, it's your movie. So, I actually own it. I've owned it for a while. This is the movie. Tucker and Dale vs. Evil. Does that not look awesome? Yes, because it is. It's a 2010 film. I've watched it. I've watched it a lot, to be honest. I introduced my wife to it as well, who is not into, she's really not into horror, but I was able to get her to say she had a good time watching that film. It's, it's a very easy film for people who aren't that into horror. So the whole idea behind the film for people who have not seen it is it's two kind of like hillbilly dudes who are really nice guys. They're really misunderstood. And it's kind of a play on the whole like, killer hillbilly um, trope that happens in horror films but these guys happen to be nice guys and it's showing what good guys they are and they're misunderstood and they're trying to be nice to people but how from the other people's perspective it looks like they're actually being creepy through no circumstance that they've actually created it's just kind of happenstance accidental um, very funny very well written very well acted so I'm a fan of Tyler Labine I think he does an outstanding job also a fan of Alan Tudyk. Uh, he's, I mean, Tudyk's been in way more stuff than Labine has, but Labine's still working. You know, he's in the new, sh the new show New Amsterdam. He was just in the movie Escape Room. Um, both of them together were in Dirk Gently. Obviously, Alan Tudyk does a lot of voice acting. So they're very, both very prolific, bo both very good. But anyway, um, the news on Tucker and Dale versus Evil so in the article, there were some quotes from Tyler Labine who was being interviewed, and he had kind of said, um, it's not quite a sequel, but they're working on something related to Tucker and Dale versus Evil. So I'm not quite sure what that would mean, and if any of you out there have any guesses on what it means where it's not a sequel, but it's something tied to it, put it down there. Um, my only thought is that it's something with similar characters or the same characters but not connected to the story that's already played out uh, so maybe that's what he means by not quite a sequel um, but he promised there is something being worked on not only that but he said I'm in on it and Alan Tudyk is also in on it at the moment we are all in and we want to see if this can happen now I got excited when I read this you might be getting excited right now if you read it or if you're hearing it right now for the first time proceed with caution because as as some people know a lot of people i i think have an inkling uh when you're talking about making films and you're talking about hollywood it's very very hard to see things to fruition there are so many scripts that get picked up there's so many books that get optioned comic books stuff like that uh and they end up just sitting on a shelf uh and they never actually get made so this could be one of those things um, but since it's in the horror realm, it probably has a better shot of actually getting done as opposed to something that would be like straight comedy or drama or something like that. Because horror, you know, it, it's more of like a forgiving genre, especially with not just with people who are making those films, but with people who are viewing those films. It's more viewed as kind of like a fluff, just have fun type genre. So even though that's not exactly what it is, it's it's... It can be a lot of things, but that's just kind of, and it ends up being viewed. But anyway, I just wanted to talk about that real quick. This is not a long video for that reason, but if you have not seen Tucker and Dale vs. Evil, check it out right now. If you have Netflix, it is currently on Netflix. When this video is going up, I checked. It is currently on Netflix. Do yourself a favor and watch that. Obviously, I've seen this so many times and it's been so long. I just have it on DVD. It is that good. It is awesome. This is one of my favorite horror comedies that's a recommendation. Anyway, thank you everyone for checking this video out. And until next time, keep it brutal.